What up, Detroit? It's Rob Parker. Coming up on Shop Talk, we debate Matthew Stafford. Is he progressing or regressing? Former Pistons point guard Lindsey Hunter stops by the shop. Also, Lomas Brown breaks down the Lions against the Vikings this weekend in Minneapolis. Shop Talk starts right now. Some people think the best place to talk about sports <laughs> is on the radio. No way, no how. It's in the barber shop. I should know. I'm a sports analyst. Detroit is a five point favorite. Devin, save your money, I know. <laughs> and I own a barber shop in Detroit. And the cats in the barber shop, they think they know everything about sports. Get ready for Rob Parker's Shop Talk. Real sports, real talk. This is Shop Talk. Welcome into Shop Talk on this Saturday. I'm Rob Parker. Let's kick it off with Getting Rob, where you get my take on the biggest sports stories of the week. We start with Sunday night football. Peyton Manning has a chance if he throws three touchdowns to pass Brett Favre for the most touchdowns in NFL history. The number would be 509. Will this change his legacy at all? Now it's time for the big debate. You know, remember, he's only on a one-year contract for next year with the Tigers, whereas Verlander is just kicking in that big $28 million a year for the next five years. So there was a little bit of that, don't you it, think? It is definitely the respect in the past history of what Justin Verlander has done in the past because he has done nothing to merit even really, some can argue he maybe shouldn't even be nothing but about the fourth starter, actually, based, based off well, how but, he's played but, but this Rick year. Rick Porcello did pitch poorly. They've lost his last six starts, so I think that's why Verlander got moved But, but Porcello has been pitching good, but the bullpen has lost a lot of them starts that Porcello had. <laughs> Forgive me, and that's to say the least. Justin Verlander has been getting rocked all year, so to give him the second start in the series, definitely respect. Justin Verlander we talking about right here. Same to scrub, all right? Whoa, you paid him that money for a reason. I'm just saying, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. But, but isn't it based on performance? Shouldn't performance yeah. play it? Not, but, but we know money always factors in. Money is always yeah, in the always. equation, this right? Just a little bit right always. here. He got the contract now. He's going to deliver. Give him a chance. All right, we here. Let, it look. Let him get his yeah, foot in the door. He got the contract. Now he's delivering the pieces to his house every night because he ain't did nothing since That's he got the contract. He's not only been one of the worst in the, in the, in the rotation, he's been one of the worst in the American League all year. And, and, I, and, and you got to admit, Mo, he, he has a chubby ERA this season. That's all I'm going to say. Check out the Shop Talk Rundown. Here's what's coming up. More Shop Talk is on the way. Stick and stay, Detroit. Now it's time for Homeboy Highlights. All right, this week's Homeboy is Michigan State Spartan running back Jeremy Langford. Last week against Nebraska, Langford rushed for 111 yards on 29 attempts and got into the end zone for one touchdown. This season, he's rushed for a total of 451 yards on 91 carries, averaging five yards a carry and four touchdowns. All right, we welcome in Lindsey Hunter, of course, two-time NBA champion, a former Piston, former head coach of the Phoenix Suns, and one of the members of the uh, Pit Bulls during that championship run with the Pistons. But Lindsey, let's, let's start with the Pistons. And they have a new coach in uh, Van Gundy, just tell me about him with this roster. I think, um, you know, with the roster not changing much, um, I think he's kind of going to experiment, you know. It's kind of trial by fire and see how uh, the personnel fits with what he wants to do. We welcome in one of my favorite people, Special K, Greg Kelser, former Michigan State star, former Piston, and of course, longtime color man for the Pistons on Fox Sports Detroit. I like them all. I think Parker and Wiggins are somewhat similar in size and uh, when you look at the people that they're being compared to, uh, it, 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 it suggests that they're going to be terrific scorers at the NBA level. I noticed that Parker is being compared to Paul Pierce and we know what Paul Pierce has been able to do for a number of years in the NBA, uh, similar size. Uh, Wiggins is being uh, compared to a younger uh, scorer in Paul George. 
Time to change gears. Here's hip hop news. Hey, it's your girl L. Beasley, and here's the latest in hip hop news. The American Music Awards generally isn't a heavily rap-oriented award show. However, the big wigs in hip-hop generally do get a nod, and this year is no exception. Now it's time for Trash Talking Twitter! Miles Jackson at Eyes on the Prize says, At Shop Talk, Joseph Randall, did you buy a $100,000 car and a $400,000 house on a league minimum and now forced to steal? Hashtag dummy. If you want to trash anyone or anything in sports, hit us up on our Twitter. It's Shop Talk's Cut of the Week. Yo, what up? Uh, it's your man Small right here, man. We got the cut. We got the t- all even. The tape in the back. Crispy sharp line on it. Now it's time for At the Movies with Greg. He's this guy who's ready to expose and really kind of like get the right thing out for people. Yeah. And my goodness, they, they just want to jump all over him. Yeah, it's uh. It's terrible, I think. You know, mm-hmm. it's interesting too. You know, where I, and I learned a lot about, um, about journalism and, and relationship with your editors. And mm-hmm. all right, now it's time for No Way No How, where we preview the Lions' upcoming game this week. Welcome in Lomas Brown, of course, former Lion, Super Bowl <laughs> champ with uh, Tampa Bay, and he also went to the championship with the yeah, Giants. Yeah, yeah. Let's break down the Lions against the Minnesota Vikings on the road. Well, I think the Lions are at the point where we have to win this game right here. It's a divisional game. We're going on the road, still a young quarterback. So I'm going to say we're going to put up 24, and we're going to hold Minnesota. They're going to get 17. I got 27-24 Minnesota. Oh, wow. (laughs) Wow, Rob. They need it, Rob. They got to have it. Now it's time for prep talk. 6-2. 180 and over 20 college offers. That's all that needs to be said about King wide receiver Donnie Corley. Now it's time for the debate challenge. This week we welcome in Jeff Rieger from 97 won the ticket. Jeff, of course, gets his hair cut at Great Clips in Livonia. I don't disagree with that, but the picture is bigger though, Jeff. Who hired him? Dave Dombrowski. This isn't a second guess. It's the first guess. A lot of people, when he was fought, when he was hired, said that Brad Osmus shouldn't get this job, an unproven rookie manager with a championship caliber team. I don't disagree with that, and it was a wrong hire, and I don't think he's going to get fired. I think he keeps his gig, but I think you work with the pieces you're given and what we've seen in the playoffs, not being able to differentiate from what he normally does, going to Jabba two games in a row, pitching Verlander in game two who lasted five instead of David Price. Are you kidding me? It was Osmus. You get to that point, you got to the playoffs, and Osmus wrecked it for his team. Here's the Instagram shop of the day. Check out Unique Barbershop, 7157 Michigan Avenue. Call them at 313-297-7762. If you want your shop featured, hit us up on our Instagram account, Shop Talk TV. Now it's time for a segment we call, What You Sportin'? What You Sportin' is sponsored by Bob's Classic Kicks on Woodward in Detroit. This week we welcome in Benny, and we also welcome in, of course, Tico, the co-owner here at Sporty Cuts, and one of our A1 barbers. Vinny, what you sporting? You know, in honor of uh, these two gentlemen right here being the members of the 50 and Up Club, <laughs> I decided to uh, come with these uh, Adidas that's about 50 years old. Wow. But y'all see they clean, but y'all know about it. Tico, what you sporting? I got all these LeBron James right here. You know, youth edition for Vinny right there. <laughs> Tico, I like yours. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Vinny, I'm going to give it to Vinny to throw it down. Ah, ah, those are three. Yeah. He is the winner. 